Hello all sentient beings and welcome to the Transmissions Podcast where we talk all Hasbro, Takara, and third party Transformers! On this episode of Transmissions, join us as we announce the long-awaited winners to our contest giveaway. We also look at the official images for the masterpiece animated version of Wheeljack, Takara Tommy shows off their grotesque and repugnous two-pack, and we check out the final colors on DNA Design's Power of the Prime's Predaking Upgrade Kit. Today is Wednesday, August 15th, 2018, and this is episode 290 and the fifth anniversary of Transmissions. Fuck, it's been a long time. Welcome to Transmissions, the podcast that's lasted longer than most Hollywood marriages. I'm your host, Charles, a.k.a. Big C, and I'm joined by the excellent Transmissions team. Jeremy, a.k.a. Yakko. Hey, how you doing? And Daryl, the Cybertronian Beast. How's everybody doing today? Let's talk Transformers. It's a very special one. Sadly, Yoshi is not here with us because we miss him. He should be here because he was here. He started the whole thing with us. But he's going to be here. He's going to continue to be here. So don't worry. But He's here in spirit. He is. He is. But yeah, five years. Five freaking years. <laughs> <laughs> Every goddamn week. We haven't missed a week. It's been fun. It's been a good ride. It's been some laughs. There's been some tears. We've gotten on each other's nerves more than we'd like to admit. <laughs> but we're still friends. Yeah. Right, guys? We're not still friends. We are friends because of the podcast. We didn't know each other before we started. <laughs> that's, that's true. So uh, thanks to you guys for continuing to listen. We really appreciate it. And we hope uh, to continue on and, uh, and bring you Transformers news and fun every week. So look forward to it. Five more years, right, guys? Yeah, at least. Uh, oh, God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so we do have a, uh, a a new donation this week. Alyssa has joined up, although I, I have to say, sorry, Alyssa, you're, you missed out on the five-year mega contest, but thank you for joining up. Yeah. Oh, just got an email confirmation. Alyssa has left the Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> It wasn't she number 100? Yes, that is correct. She is number 100. Assuming all of, you know, the number lasts through the end of the month, we will make uh, declassified live for everybody. Mm -hmm. Yay. Unless the number goes down. <laughs> I've got an idea that I haven't really run by the guys yet, but I, I, I will. There's, we're going to follow up. This is the best this, time to, to it give totally us <laughs> I have I have to still discuss it with the other guys because it needs a quorum, or I could just discuss it with Charles. But <laughs> but uh, I'd like to uh, I'd like to propose another contest to follow this one up. Me and DJ Ronan uh, met up at uh, Heroes this week, and we're talking about it. We might uh, we might do something really quickly right after this big contest uh, ends uh, because uh, you know we want to uh, we want to keep everyone listening to us, and we really don't want to see a whole big massive drop off so keep listening because i think uh, i think i have a pretty good idea here well you've been the source of most of our contests so it's true you're the source of this big one that that's also true yeah daryl's title has has morphed from toy guy to toy guy and official contest czar <laughs> uh, hey i'll take czar that sounds awesome <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, let's. Well, speaking of that big five year mega contest, we've got five prize packs to give away. And why don't we give away the first one right now? So, uh, Daryl, why don't you tell us what is in this first prize pack? We're going to do the first prize pack here. And the, uh, the rules basically are you have to be a host or co host of Transmissions <laughs> Podcast to win. <laughs> No, I'm kidding. Um, the people who have been hosts or co-hosts are the pretty much the only ones that are not eligible to win. We're going to do five drawings over the course of the episode. And if your name is drawn, you will not be eligible for the remaining prizes, unlike our Toy Hacks drawings uh, throughout the year. So um, if your name gets drawn, uh, you're done for this one. 
Uh, am I missing something here? I'm, I'm, I'm light on the rules. I think that's basically it. It's basically, if you win one of the prize packs, you aren't eligible for the other prize pack. That's right. Because you, we don't want one person to win all five. Which would be statistically possible, but very low chance. We will get in contact with the person uh, to uh, to get their email and, and uh, their actual mailing address. Uh, transmissions will be footing the bill for uh, postage. I think uh, that's enough delay. Why don't we draw the first pack? The first prize pack is the Cogman and Power Bank pack. And it uh, does contain a Transformers The Last Night Deluxe Cogman, a Transformers Optimus Prime Power Bank that uh, we got from our editor Mike uh, when he went to Hascon. Uh, Transformers Monopoly board game, if people still play board games. Transformers versus G.I. Joe, trans- or sure, sorry, it's G.I. Joe versus Transformers don't want to get them confused. Issue zero, the free comic book day uh, book from 2014 with no sticker or stamp. I know that's a big issue. And there's also a little page in there where you can like connect the dots and stuff. And that has also not been done. Yes. <laughs> uh, Robots in Disguise, number 32, the RI cover. That's the really sick John Paul and Casey Collar cover. And we've got the Hydrobot and the Transformers promo comic from the last night. We've got the remastered 1986 Transformers the movie Blu-ray Steelbook Edition. The uh, Emerald City Comic Con 2018 poster, the new Prime. This was donated by artist Andy Poon. And we've got three Pez dispensers, both the R.I.D., uh, they're all from R.I.D., so this is Optimus Prime, Grimlock, and Bumblebee with the R.I.D. heads on them. Uh, let's uh, draw for the winner of this. Okay, Jeremy, uh, have your lovely assistant give us a number, a random number between 1 and 123. Computer, give me a random number between 1 and 123. Your random number between 1 and 123 is 30. The winner is... Christopher Gedrum. Chris Gedrum. Wow. Nice. Congrats. Come on down. He's won a couple of things already. He has. Before. Wow. All right. Awesome. Well done. That means we're going to have to ship all this stuff to the UK. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> and he was a duly appointed supporter of the Transmissions podcast. So the, that double entry seemed to have helped him out. Oh, it's for fun. Just went up. There you go. Congratulations, Chris. Well done. All right. So we got four more to go. As I said, I'm spreading them out, but throughout the rest of the show. So hang tight, everyone. We got to do a show. (laughs) All right. uh, So let's talk about some toys. All right. So first up, I have uh, what came out of uh, Takara this week. The two exclusive figures from Power of the Primes that... uh, the monster bots that everyone's been kind of clamoring for Takara said, you know what? We want in on this. And they decided to put out Grotusk and Repugnus as a two pack. So you don't have to really jump through a whole lot of hoops. If you're, you know, living in Japan, it, it, cause you still got to put it, go, go through Takara Tommy mall, uh, which is kind of a pain in the ass. Yeah. You can get both of these guys in one shot and it's, you got the Takara paint jobs and all that stuff. They look really good. I mean, they similar paint schemes. I don't really see a big difference. I think Grotusk looks a little darker. Uh, maybe just the photos, but uh, he does look darker. Repugnus kind of looks exactly the same. But uh, but then again, I don't have a physical representation of Repugnus yet. This is pretty cool. So if you're uh, if you're so inclined to get the Takara uh, versions. Uh, you're going to have an opportunity. They're going to be made available in January uh, for approximately 7,000 yen uh, or what would be s- currently $63 American. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty good for two figures. We've got these available to us, Jeremy. What, uh, getting them both in a, in a two-pack, does that kind of make it easier? Would you, would you rather chase them down in a two-pack or, or still go after the, uh, the singles that you can get in North America? I would if I if I didn't already have a Repugnus. No, sorry, a Grotesque is the one I got. Yeah, I, I would probably go for the two pack. I think around you know sixty three dollars is not bad for both of these figures. Mm-hmm. Like I said, they look great. 
does the U.S. version of the Titan Masters um, have that level of paint detail? Because it seems like these have you know more paint deal detail than you would normally expect. That's the that's the question, right? Um, I haven't had my grotesque out very much. Takara is always known for their uh, for their their high level of paint. Although that's the question with. Uh, the Power of the Prime stuff is because their Power of the Primes figures for Takara have essentially been exactly the same as the Hasbro versions. Jason says these are matching the Hasbro too. Oh, okay. All right. Well, thanks, Jason. But, I mean, they, they look great. I love the the translucent green pla- plastic on, on Repugnus. It, it, yeah. It looks like the effect you get from that looks really good. Mm-hmm. Charles, does these do anything for you? Are you chasing the monster bots? I, I am not chasing the monster bots. Um, they do look cool, but you know, I think these these are figures that uh, are really optional for me. Like, uh, it's nice to see that all three monster bots got released, but I, I never picked up Double Cross, and I didn't. Uh, so, I mean, I guess if if I had second thoughts, I might be interested in this two pack since I didn't pick up Grotusk, and I'm not getting Repugnus. Mm-hmm. Uh, so yeah, if I, if I changed my mind at some point and didn't want to get the monster pots, I guess it would be, it would be nice to have this two pack and then it double cross is pretty easy to find, I think usually, or he was a few months ago, maybe he's not anymore, Mm -hmm. but, uh, he was a pretty plentiful figure on store shelves. Yeah. Uh, Plus he's, he's pretty, he's a pretty good figure. I, I really like double cross. Yeah. You know, I, I just, uh, you know, I'm trying to be more discerning with my purchases since I, since I never open my figures, I'm trying to open every figure I get and mess with it and mm-hmm. have a place for it and not uh, just put them in a box. But the, oh, uh, yeah, my grotesque is actually still in the box. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, I, I can't, I don't want to take them out though. That's the problem is I want to have it in there. Cause it, it, it's the box for these is so cool. Does the, the Hasbro release of repugnance come with those cool swords? The swords look really, not really nice. Um, I'm not sure. Uh, I haven't, uh, I haven't really looked at it recently. I would assume that they, they do. Jason says yes, Daryl. Oh, Jason. What a guy jumping in, (laughs) saving the day. All right. Well, I do have another topic and this one is, uh, something that I have a little bit more of a personal connection to because, uh, I pre-ordered this this week. This is DNA designs, DK 07 power of the primes predaking upgrade kit in its final colors. This is adding a bunch to the Power of the Primes Titan class Predaking. I know that there's issues with Predaking. Uh, I know that people really don't like its teeny little waist and the hands are kind of garbage. Yeah, I, I see that and I thought, you know what? I'm going to get this thing because I like Predaking and I want to make them as beefy as possible. So I went ahead and pre-ordered it. It's $49.99 on most stores. Uh, and uh, and yeah, so this kind of really reinforces the, the purchase that I, I pre-ordered this week. This thing comes with uh, a new set of wings, which are gorgeous, uh, hands, which are fully articulated, uh, a spine, which looks like a cock and balls, which <laughs> is, it's hysterical, but you're supposed to plug it in on the back. So it's a spine, you know, kind of giving extra support to the figure, but it's a cock and balls. Um, and you've got a sword, which are individual weapons for the f- individual figures, but combine into a massive fucking sword for Predaking. And I love that. The first time I saw that was with Mastermind Creations and their Feral Rex. This is just another iteration of that. You can see in some of the poses that they've got this Predaking in. It's it's got some really good articulation. It it just it looks it looks better uh, to me. If I could get some you know some you know some of those shoulder cannon extensions or something to make those a little bigger, I'd be a little happier. The waist doesn't bother me all that much, really. It's 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 skinny, but whatever. It's not a big deal. All in all, I really like the way that it looks. Uh, I'll open it up to you guys. I don't know whether you guys are going to be getting this. It's a big figure. It's a big purchase. I, I know you guys generally don't go after the Titan class figures. What do you think, Jeremy? Well, I think it looks fantastic. I, I'm not going after the Predaking, so I'm obviously not going to get this, but it just looks 
great. I love, you know, what they show you can do with the hands. Like they have one, like it looks like he's cracking his knuckles. Mm -hmm. It looks great. Uh, He can do the superhero landing pose. Mm -hmm. One of the things I thought was neat was um, there's a picture with all the the individual bots and they're holding the, the pieces as weapons. And you have two of them holding the feet up like massive guns. But to me, they look like big boom boxes. The boom boxes. Yeah. (laughs) So yeah, that, that's that's funny. And I, I, my my big question is just how were what were they thinking when they were designing that spine piece? I mean, it's so you could have like gotten that same functionality with other designs. Yes, it just doesn't. Well, it fits onto Razor Claws back as well, right? So I guess they had to be dual purpose, right? I mean, I'm just wondering, uh, does it fit into specifically shape things like that or? You know, could the balls have been shaped differently? No, no, it had to be like that. <laughs> <laughs> there was no other way. There was no other way. <laughs> no other way. It had to be had to be that way. Uh, I do see that the first production run, uh, you're getting an exclusive gift, which is some smaller uh, look like guns. But in one of the pictures, they do have them. Basically, it's picture number one. If you're looking at the Predaking straight on, you can actually see them uh, placed in the uh, in the mid section there to, to bulk him up in the, in the middle. So I guess they did come up with something to do with those uh, to, to kind of even out the mid section. So those will be, those will be interesting to get there too. But uh, all in all, I think it really looks kind of good. Charles, what do you think of, uh, you know, the Titan class Predaking as a whole? And do you think that this really adds $50 of value to it? I think this is a, this is a really neat upgrade set. So if, if I was going for the Predaking figure, this might be something I'd consider too. I mean, it does make it look really good. That sword is really cool, uh, especially the fact that it can uh, detach and to have to each mm-hmm. give each individual figure their own weapon. That's a that's a really cool gimmick. Yeah, it reminds me of the uh, the Victorian figure that did that. Right. Yes. It's it's very cool. So if I was in if I was in for Predaking, I'd probably be in for this. Um, have you already pre-ordered or ordered Predaking, or do you have it already? Uh, no, I uh, I put in an order at um, my comic book store because mm-hmm. they get them in, and they'll generally have it cheaper than all the retail places. Mm-hmm. And that way, I can also work it off. <laughs> so <laughs> I have to exchange zero monies for it, which is always <laughs> puts a smile on my wife's face. It's like, how much did that huge box cost? Nothing. Yay! <laughs> it's just the time that that she got with you not being in the house. That's right, and that's, that's it's a win-win <laughs> worth so much to her. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm excited about it. Yeah, I like. I mean, they've got him in some cool poses here in the in the pictures here. So if if he can hold all those poses with this upgrade kit, yeah, it's it's really nice. Mm. Yeah. So that's uh, those are my topics for this week. Jeremy, did uh, did you want to uh, tell us about some stuff, or did you want to make another draw? I can tell you about some stuff first. Ah, oh, all right. I, I like hearing about stuff. All right. <laughs> I have a bunch of Wheeljack news. Cool. Uh, Amazon, Amazon Japan has updated their listing for a Masterpiece Wheeljack animation version. This is the 20 plus. And this has, like, it. it it's... Masterpiece Wheeljack, but basically without all the logos and stuff on them, the the colors match the show a little better, and it's roughly sixty six hundred or yeah sixty six hundred yen, which I, I would say about fifty dollars, which is about what the cars are. And so we have some official images of that, and it, it's the the same actual figure that we've got before, and it's mm-hmm. a great masterpiece figure. So if you don't have Wheeljack, it's a great toy. Do you have Wheeljack? I do. Awesome. Yeah. And I also got one of those add on kits to change the um, little ears to be translucent blue. Right. Yes. The Dr. Wu ones. Yeah. It's a great toy. And then we, we also have a, a 360 turnaround view. But really, what I thought was the interesting news about this is um, Sabertron's reporting that Hasbro is going to be releasing this version as well. It looks like it'll be coming out in February 2019 for $79.99 from Entertainment Earth. No idea if it's going to be at other places. Hmm. That is quite pricey. So I would go with the, the Takara version myself. You'll probably save a little bit of money. $79.99 is, is 
typical masterpiece car prices, though. It is, but when Takara is selling it on Amazon Japan for 66, 64 yen. But yeah, you know. Amazon Japan is like, it's like a toy mecca. It's, you know, you can get yourself through Amazon Japan and uh, you're just, you know, that's just great. Right. North American What's... pricing. And and what's the shipping from Amazon Japan to the U.S.? It says free free prime shipping. I don't know what that does like international. <laughs> I would guess. Yeah, I would guess that's not going to work for from the U.S. Probably not. <laughs> but that, that's roughly sixty dollars, actually. No, yeah, that's that before shipping. Yeah. So, <laughs> but actually, this says that uh, they're going to be having it on fe- in February too. So maybe it'll be worldwide release around the same time. Mm-hmm. So that's that's pretty neat. But I just, I thought it was interesting that Hasbro is coming out with another masterpiece in, in the main masterpiece line, not the movie stuff. Yeah. So, they never released Wheeljack before. Yeah. So it's a, it's the first U.S. release of Masterpiece Wheeljack. Mm-hmm. So do either of you guys have Masterpiece Wheeljack? Oh, yeah. We we got them at, oh. at TFCon Chicago, remember? I forgot. We got when, that crazy deal at TFCon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was like 60 bucks or something like that. Because mm-hmm. we all bought one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, what do you um, do if we give if you buy if you sell four of them to us? <laughs> so, what do you guys think of the the new colors? I mean, it's it's nice. It does. It's for me. It's not enough to buy another one, but right. uh, it's it's nice. I think the I think the um the at least the toy uh decals or or you know ad, ads on the side or better i guess or or give it more flavor than the animation version the animation version seems a bit plain to me but mm-hmm. yeah, I'm, I'm sure you can get a repro label set to fix it back up mm-hmm. to turn it into the version it's not <laughs> yeah <laughs> i agree with charles though it is it does look plain the the major change is the the windshield though obviously it's it's blue rather than black the paint job obviously is 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 another big change but that's to be expected um i i really like my original version better it, it's got the main the main decals on it i really like my race cars to look like race cars in their in their alt modes the main robot mode really doesn't look all that different. So there's some difference in paint and, and whatnot. Mm-hmm. I just, I mean, I like the toys, you know, originally. And my my G1 wheel jack has those see-through wings on the back. And the Masterpiece wheel jack has those see-through wings on the back. And, and this one it, doesn't. That's right. So I just, uh, you know, I, I like them to match if I can. But this is nice. I mean, and the fact that... Um, a lot of these uh, original masterpiece are being, you know, kind of reissued as animation uh, in place of new masterpiece figures kind of gives me a break from having to buy so many masterpiece figures. Really, the only one I have to look at right now is Hound, and I have a Hound. So um, I have to kind of toss up the idea of, is, is this one going to be better than the other? And I really don't with this with this wheeljack. Yeah, well, I think we've drawn it out long enough so why don't we do the next drawing all right uh so daryl what's in this next prize pack oh boy this is contest prize pack number two which is the titans return pack this one includes titans return rc titans return voyager blitzwing and octone that's octane the remastered version of the 1986 Transformers the Movie Blu-ray Steelbook Edition. Lost Light number 12, cover C, the Alex Milne cover. Lost Light number 13, cover C, the Artist Edition cover by Alex Milne. The Ashley Wood art print from TFCon DC 2017, donated by 3A. And three Pez dispensers. Those are the RID 2015, Optimus, Grimlock, and Bumblebee. All right. So that's a... Lots of good stuff. Hells yeah. And that, that art print looks really nice. Yes. I got one. All right, uh, Jeremy, call up your lovely assistant again and again ask her to give us a random number between 1 and 123. Computer, give me a random number between 1 and 123. Your random number between 1 and 123 is 53. 53, Scott. Scott Romanski. All right. Good job, Scott. Congratulations to Scott. Well done. We'll be getting these out to you as soon as we get your info. 
All right. That was a, those are lots of good figures there. If you're a t- fan of Titans return, Charles, did you have anything to bring to the show this week? Nah. All right. <laughs> well, we can just call it. Well, this is just the end of the show then. <laughs> and we'll, we'll just take home the rest of the prizes, right? Yeah. There's nothing really good left. All right. Yes. I do have a couple of topics. First up, um, we talked about those flame toys, uh, model kits, the Furai model kits. And now we have some box art for the Optimus prime figure. Uh, this is a very, very heavily stylized Optimus prime. It doesn't look like he can really transform into a truck at all here. It's very mm-hmm. much just a kind of a hero action figure, but I, I like this art. I, it's the war for Cybertron. Mm. <laughs> but what, what's up with those hips? <laughs> hips don't lie those, those are pretty massive hips yeah but it's it's nice art I, I i don't see who the the artist is doesn't look like we have a we have the name there but that's pretty good it's it's a very like digitally painted i'm sure yoshi's will complain about the textures on the backgrounds but and the lens flare mm-hmm. yeah <laughs> I, I think it looks fantastic mm-hmm. yep who's the artist jason <laughs> You finally stumped Jason, Daryl. I hope you're happy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, that's pretty cool. I like it. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing when these things start to actually come out and people start getting them. I want to know the uh, like the results of whether they're shit or not because they look good, but mm-hmm. they're also being like prepared by professionals. Yeah, I- I'm planning on picking up one of these model kits just to. Yeah, me too. See how they go. I'm I, I'm really interested in that IDW Megatron one. Mm-hmm. All right, uh, so I do have another other topic. So uh, Hasbro has put out another one of their leaked from Cybertron videos. Uh, I think this was up on their Facebook page, and it showed some interesting uh, design prototypes for their Power of the Primes Rodimus Prime figure, and this was a video done by John Warden. Uh, and yeah, it's, it's only about a minute long, so it's a pretty quick watch, and then uh, TFW has the images of some of the prototypes mirrored on their page there. Uh, I I thought it was cool to see, like they have one, one design where Rodimus prime basically has all the other uh, deluxe and and Voyager power, the primes figures bolted onto him. So you can see jazz Darkwing and dreadwind on the sides and then star scream on the top. And then you have another one with all the Dinobots uh, attached to him. And, Mm -hmm. and then what's that, what's the, that jet figure in front of him is that I don't, I don't recognize that. And then the big matrix on top. It's probably Blitzwing. <laughs> it kind of looks like a movie Megatron. Yeah, maybe, but yeah, maybe. I don't know where that would be coming from. And then this uh, this armored the, up version the jet of Rodimus seems to be concept of Titans Return Prima. That's a retail retool of Black Shadow Overlord. Oh, mm, according to the article. Cool. Ah, reading is fundamental. It's overrated. <laughs> This looks really good, though. And, mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, I can it, understand why they didn't do it. I mean, add all this complexity, but but it, it looks really fun. I would have loved to have just a figure that you can just, like, a- attach all the, the figures to I mean, with, like, the combiner ports and stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I just like seeing these these concepts and then seeing how the figure ended up. I, I do. I have this Rock Prime figure. I know uh, we talked about how it's it is a a bit of a compromise to get all the gimmicks worked in there, but overall I do like the figure, so I like mm-hmm. what they what they ultimately ended up with. But it's nice to see these these design explorations. It's always cool to peel back the per- the curtain a little bit. All right, well that's my toy topic. Should we move on or or pull for another prize pack? Oh, I I've got some stuff I need to show you all in trips to the store. So we should do a prize pack now before we're sitting here with <laughs> before you put everyone to sleep. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> All right. So this is going to be prize pack three. Uh, Daryl, what's what's in this prize pack? All right. So this is the Universal Studios EVAC and graded comic prize pack. It contains a CGC 9.8 till all are one. Number one, our very own transmissions cover graded comic. Universal Studios exclusive deluxe evac figure. ROM versus Transformers number of one to five. Numbers one and three have been signed by Alex Milne. More than meets the eye. Numbers number 30 cover REA. 
the 2014 convention cover. This is DJ Soundwave. The My Little Pony Friendship X is Magic number 19 RE cover. 2014 convention cover Starscream and Pinkie Pie. And three Pez dispensers. These are the RID 2015 Optimus Prime, Grimlock, and Bumblebee. Yay, Pez. I want to say thank you to uh, our very good friend Tom B. Long for donating the convention covers uh, from his very own personal collection. So thank you, Tom. Thanks, Kyle. (laughs) (laughs) All right, let's pick a winner. Uh, Jeremy, again, a number between 1 and 123, please. Computer. Give me a random number between 1 and 123. Your random number between 1 and 123 is 89. Tom Lynch. Good old Tom Lynch. All right. Well done. Know that guy? Hey, I know him. We're getting a question of what, how is the number staying the same? If a number comes up again, then we just draw again. It saves Charles from having to make an, four other spreadsheets. Congratulations, Tom. Good job. Hope you enjoy that evac and graded comic and lots of other stuff. All right. uh, That's all we've got for toys. So let's move on to our trip to the store. This is where we show off all the cool Transformer stuff we got this week. We do this as a YouTube video that we show and stream it live. So you can see all the stuff we got in beautiful high definition. But, uh, of course, listen to the uh, to the show right now and keep listening to the audio version because we'll describe everything to you. Uh, but then pop over to YouTube and watch the video so you can see it. So without further ado, trips to the store. Transmissions wouldn't be what it is today without the awesome support of our listeners. If you'd like to support our shows and enjoy the exclusive benefits that our donors get, please visit transmissionspodcast.com slash support. All right, so let's get into what we got this week. So, Jeremy, I'm going to throw it to you first. What do you got? I got comics. I have three comics that are not cut uniformly, so that that (laughs) irks me on some level. But um, I have Lost Light number 22, this retail A A cover with some little stick there. I I don't don't know what that stick is, but... (laughs) The spirit of Yoshi is reaching out at you from beyond the grave <laughs> for not bagging and boarding your comics. I have Where's been you, busy. Work, work is work is busy. I have I have <laughs> stacks of comics everywhere. Uh, I also have uh, Optimus Prime twenty two. Kazama uh, is this Kazama? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's Kazama cover, and you can see there they all say somewhere on there Unicron is here. So they're kind of tying in now, kind of, maybe. And then I have Unicron number three. So two issues left. Does that say Unicron is here on it somewhere? No, it just says Unicron. (laughs) There's actually three issues left, Jeremy. Oh, three issues. Okay. But we get to see Unicron in full. Spoilers! (laughs) Son of a bitch! (laughs) Unicron is in the Unicron comic? He's a Transformer, (laughs) Daryl. I don't know if you knew this. He's he's a transformer. God damn. And if I had um if I had a physical version, I'd show also the movie ticket I got, but I don't have a physical version, so I think I might have had it last week too, but going to the A six movie again. And that's all I got. So how about you, Charles? All right. Uh first up, this is something uh that my kids got and they gave to me because they didn't want it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> This is a little McDonald's uh, strong arm toy from Robots in Disguise. Uh, we went to a, a local, uh, it was like a community pool party, and they were giving away old McDonald's toys that, you know, McDonald's just donated because they weren't using them anymore. <laughs> and, yeah, there was a strong arm, Robots in Disguise strong arm there. And so I, I encouraged my kids to pick that one so I could take it. <laughs> and there it is. Kids, you don't want that pony. <laughs> and it's even it's she's got a big freaking gun, a little missile that shoots there. Uh, although they didn't really have like she didn't she have like kind of a bow caster in the uh, here in the show. Don't remember ha- having a giant gun like this, but oh well. But it is strong arm. Here you go. 
All right. Uh, I also have comics. Uh, the same comics Jeremy has. Unicron, number three. Alex Milne cover. Lost Light, number 22. The Nick Roche cover. And Optimus Prime, number 22. E.K. Zama cover. And that's all I got. Uh, no, that's not all I got. Because I got some stuff from TFCon that I haven't uh, shown off yet. I got a stack of James Roberts scripts. Oh, jeez. Signed James Roberts scripts. Thank you, James Roberts, for letting me get these. Uh, so this is... Are those what, letter or are they A4? They are letter. They are not A4. Yeah. So, I don't know. Maybe, Gu- maybe, maybe Guernsey has 8.5 by 11 printers. <laughs> There's no way he traveled with those. <laughs> yeah. He, <laughs> um, the hotel, like, office center. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, so, I mean, some of them are, are just kind of bound, uh, you know, paper. I did get some of the, the These are nicely, more nicely bound scripts. So this is uh, More Than Meets the Eye 40 and uh, More Than Meets the Eye 38. He wrote, he wrote a nice note to me. He said... Uh, for Charles, thanks for your enthusiasm and support. And he signed it twice, and he wrote twice for luck in parentheses. Yeah, I think that was just an accident. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I can't read what he... Oh, bye-bye Ratchet for Charles. Bye-bye Ratchet. That's more than BCI number 40. So, Yeah, these are cool. Uh, it's nice to have these little annotated scripts. Uh I'm a fan of James Roberts' work, so it's, uh, you know, I, I had to support him. That's what I got this week. So, Daryl, show, show off what you got. All right, well, I, too, got some uh, comics, like everybody. This is Optimus Prime 22. This is the Sarah Peter Duroche cover, so a little different than you guys. Uh, this has got jazz and ROM on it. Uh, then I got... Lost Light, number 22. This is the Jess Senior cover. And then I got uh, Transformers Unicron, number three. This is the Alex Milne cover. And Transformers Unicron, number three, the James Reyes cover. And then I got uh, this one, which was uh, in my package of stuff from TFCon. This is Brit Farmers, number zero, uh, signed by... Uh, this is uh, Brychen and Nathan, uh, the two creators of the the, sh- the book. And uh, Charles had these for us, so I took mine out, and I've got the others for the other guys and Charles's apparently. So, so, <laughs> so yeah, it was a little it was a little hectic at TFCon. Didn't it get was a little hectic. So I have these for the rest of the guys. What was that from? Was it from that's Retcon it, or? That's no. a fan-made comic from uh, one of our our listeners in Donatrions, Nathan. Uh, I got a message over the week from my brother, who uh, who said, "Hey, is this something you should you would want? It's at Goodwill for five bucks." And I he showed me a picture. It was Twin Inferno in its package, still, <laughs> still, still sealed. So I'm like. I have it. I actually have it twice because my daughter wanted one. But I'm like, I'm not going to say no to a box twin Inferno. So for yeah, five he, bucks. for five bucks. So he bought it, and I I have it now. And Charles just happens to need a twin Inferno. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no! <laughs> Don't so, put that evil on me. So we have a we have a twin Inferno. But I did buy something for myself this week. Uh, these were these were showing up at the uh, local EB Games in Canada. Um, so check your EB Games if you were looking for one. This is Titans Return. Uh, yeah, basically Titans Return uh, Retgar or Combiner Wars Retgar, really. Um, but it's uh, it's the Groove Mold, and uh, yeah, so he's fully Combiner War Combiner compatible, and uh, he he looks okay. Uh, yeah. He's he's kind of nice. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do with him. I really I wanted him because of the the exclusive factor, but uh, he doesn't seem to be all that exclusive. Um, he's pretty widespread right now. Um, but yeah, so and he, now he's starting to show up on the Walgreens websites for the uh, the guys in the U.S. There, so yeah, um, 
How much he's, was he, it in at EB Games? It was twenty four ninety nine Canadian. So. Okay, so Walgreens it'll probably be about eighteen dollars, which is likely. Yeah, yeah. Walgreens all all their deluxes are around eighteen. And and then I got two more things here from TFCon. I bought these off of friend of the show. Um, uh, I'm trying to remember his last name. Uh, anyway, he's Echo Transformer. So if you know Echo Transformer, he does a lot of stuff for Shapeways and stuff like that. Um, I bought a couple of uh, G1 Headmaster Juniors. Uh, this is horrible and fangry. So I bought these two guys. They're both missing all their weapons, but they have their heads, which is really good. Um, and uh, yeah, I picked these guys up. I didn't have them. So I uh, thought, you know what? This would be a good way to get two figures I don't have, and I can start looking for their weapons, which... Uh, is looking to be a little bit more expensive than I thought it was going to be. But, uh, yeah, we'll get that uh, get that going and put those things on the list. These are fun. Uh, I like uh, I like these guys. They're, they're neat. So, yeah, never actually had these guys before. Um, yeah. But that's it. That's all I got this week. All right. All right, we're back from our trips to the store. And we would go right into convention news, but I think we can take a pit stop and draw for another prize. What do you guys think? I guess. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> All right, uh, Daryl, what, what prize pack is coming up now? Well, this is the Masterpiece Sunstreaker prize pack. This one comes with, obviously, Takara MP39 Masterpiece Sunstreaker, a $50 code from Toy Hacks, donated by toy hacks last stand of the wreckers number one and two cover a signed by both nick roach and josh bertram more than meets the eye number 36 the ri cover which is that cover and transformers formerly robots in disguise number 36 the ri cover both of them combined into that very large ensemble piece done by alex mill you're getting the respect the prime convention edition cd and swag donated by distortion productions wow this is this is a big one lots of good stuff here damn skippy all right uh jeremy let's go a number between one and 123 computer give me a random number between one and 123 your random number between one and 123 is 68 68 is trevor Trevor Day. All right, Trevor. Congrats. Today is your day, Trevor. <laughs> well done. All right. Get yourself a good figure there. So far, no one no one listening live in the chat has won. That's crazy. <laughs> Which we have a record number of people in the chat tonight. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Congratulations, Trevor. Yeah, next time we'll do a must be present to win. <laughs> <laughs> I think we'd crash Discord. <laughs> I think that's a win, too. <laughs> All right, so uh, let's move on to some convention news. All right, uh, we just have one thing here in convention news, and this is of interest to Daryl. Huh? The AllSpark is reporting that Hasbro is going to be at Fan Expo Canada to reveal some new exclusive merchandise. Oh, that is so, is, is interesting. Yeah, that that is all we know. We don't know any. Anything else? Who knows? It might even just be all My Little Pony stuff. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It, they, they never said anything about it being Transformers related. Right. So. <laughs> is that image for Siege War for Cybertron? Is that an official image? Because they're using art from Megatron, from an All Hail Megatron cover. Yeah. I don't know if that's official or if that's just something that AllSpark did. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know. But Interesting, though. This is cool. You know, you're going to be at that show, so... I will be. We expect a, a first-hand report of all the Dungeons & Dragons stuff that they have. All, yeah, and all the Wizard... Or what is it? Wizards of the Coast? When the, what was the card or, game? The magic. All the magic stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I could nerf it up like you you have no idea. Yeah. But anyway, it it you know, I, I'm excited that this was something you're already planning on going to, so... <laughs> yep. You happen to to have you know our our portable recorder. I'm, I'm worried that this is fucking up my plans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're gonna make you actually do work for us. Yeah, my whole day is generally planned out pretty pretty extensively. Now this is throwing a monkey wrench into it. I gotta fucking work now. 
this is this will be fun. Yeah. <clears throat> so anyway, uh, that is all we got in convention news. All right, and we will finish up the show with a tiny bit of feedback. All right, we have an uh, some feedback left on the website uh, through our little email widget. This comes from Spiderus Prime and uh, Spider Spiderus. Well, I mean, at least there was a character on a kids show I remember that was always called Spiderus. So I oh. think that's what he was taking it from. Okay. I, <laughs> I was going with Could spiders. Be. Well, when you guys read the feedback, <laughs> you can do it however you want. <laughs> Spiderus writes, Dear Transmissions team, happy fifth anniversary. So here are my questions. What is the secret origin of the podcast? Well, it, it's not too secret. I think we, we've said it a couple times on the show. Um, but uh, I guess, Jeremy, you can tell the origin since since you are the originator. Okay. I wanted to start a podcast talking about Transformers. So I put out a call on Reddit and I contacted Amy from the Underbase since Charles had been on the Underbase and he's from Pittsburgh and I was from Pittsburgh at the time. And Daryl and Yoshi answered the re- call on Reddit and we all just gelled immediately. And that's pretty much it. We do have an episode zero that has never been released. And, but, uh, you know, ju- judging from how well that went, you know, with us talking to each other, here we are, episode 290, and we're still going strong. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're going to have to do another big celebration in 10 episodes for our 300th episode. Yeah. <laughs> and then I can introduce the, the legacy numbering that I'm planning on doing. <laughs> <laughs> Because we, we have the, the alt mode numbers and stuff, so it's just a, a way to jump up like 100 numbers. <laughs> That's right. We'll be right so, e- even with under base, or sorry, with uh, <laughs> with moon base too. So it'll be 300 one week, and then the next week it'll be 401? It, it, it'll be one, and then in parentheses, 400. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Actually, no, I'll have to add in all the declassifieds and all the extras and everything, so it, it'll... It, you know, going by the Marvel accounting method, it'll be roughly 1,000. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So um, that's that's his first question. Uh, second question, if you want to get rid of someone, who would you like to get rid of and get replaced? So uh, mm-hmm. Spideris did not provide any context, so I'm not sure if, if he means he wants to, should we want to get rid of one of the hosts of the show or a Transformer or a person in general in the world? <laughs> Well, I don't, I don't know. I want to get rid of Craig. <laughs> Craig fucking sucks. <laughs> guy, the guy's been missing like freaking gone for the first like 250 episodes. <laughs> Just shows up and acts like he owns the joint. I'm done with Craig. <laughs> All right. Uh, I will, I would probably say I'd get rid of Donald. <laughs> <laughs> uh Oh, going right for it, right there, right, <laughs> right for the jugular. Sorry, sorry, any what's Trump supporters? <laughs> Anyone you want to get rid of, Jeremy? I, I'm a pretty easygoing guy. <laughs> I, I'm, I don't know. <laughs> maybe maybe um, Texas Yoshi. No, <laughs> no. Yeah, but if you're asking if we if we'd like to get rid of those. No, I don't think any of us want to get rid of anybody else on this show. We actually all like each other. Yeah, and and if we got rid of someone, that means more work for the rest of us. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, uh, so yeah, we're we're not looking to replace anybody on the show at the moment. I know she would inclu- be like that. <laughs> <laughs> we miss Yoshi. We want Yoshi back. We're not looking to replace him. All right. Uh, well, thank you, Spideris, for sending in your questions. Those yeah, are thanks. those are fun. Thanks, Spiderus. <laughs> thanks, Spiderus. <laughs> All right. Well, that takes us to the end of the show, right? No- nothing else to do, right? We're at the end, right? I would say I- so. Oh. There might be one little thing that you forgot. <laughs> yes, we have one more prize pack to give away. The grandpappy, the big mama, the big deal. All right, Daryl, tell them what the last prize pack is. This is the last thing we're giving away. Good luck, everyone. It. This is the Masterpiece Megatron prize pack. It contains one Takara MP36 Megatron. Respect the Prime Convention Edition CD and swag donated by Distortion Productions. More than meets the eye, number 12, cover A, signed by Alex Millen, Josh Perez, Brendan Cahill, and Josh Burcham. 
or the BTI number 33 cover A, signed by Alex Milne and Josh Perez. Uh, Combiner Hunters One Shot Convention Edition. Uh, these are the, it's missing one of the four, but we have covers RC, Chromia, and Windblade. Um, and we have the Transformers, formerly RID, number 42, cover RC. And we have Windblade number four convention covered. This is the Windblade cover. Um, I don't remember which one of the th four is actually... Oh, it's the Chromia cover is missing. That one is from... More than More than BCI, yeah. Yeah. So, so yeah, we couldn't uh, procure that one cover for this set, but yeah, you're getting quite a bit in there. You, you, whoever wins this, you have to acquire one book. And those uh, those a lot of those comics there were donated by... Mr. Tommy Long from his personal collection. Thanks again, Tom. Ironic considering he he joined the Patreon so he could try for this masterpiece Megatron. <laughs> so we might be giving all the comics back to him. That's true. <laughs> all right. Uh Jeremy, again we need a number between one and one hundred twenty three. Computer, give me a random number between one and one hundred twenty three. Your random number between one and one hundred twenty three is fifteen. Nick Hogg. Oh, my Quattro. goodness. Quattro. Oh. Man, you did it. You did it Quattro. now. Quattro. And he's listening. Awesome. Congrats. Well done, Quattro. Well done, that, Quattro. Uh, Good job. Donating at the duly appointed supporter level paid off there. All right. Special shout out to our Donatrion, DJ Ronan, who again did not win anything. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations for keeping your streak. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Quattro, good job. Well done. Thank you, everyone. This was a very good contest. And f don't forget that there is still is one more month of the Toy Hacks giveaway. So there's still that coming up. And uh, I don't think there's going to be much opposition to the idea that I have coming up. So there's still something coming. Um, and that's going to be very quick turnaround. No more. Uh, 12 month contests here so <laughs> i'm going to uh convince the guys that this next one should be one and done uh yeah. within uh, a month or two so Th this was anniversary that's special yeah i'd like to thank my amazon echo for the random numbers <laughs> <laughs> yeah thanks everyone for contributing to the show uh congratulations to all the winners and we hope everyone else will, will stick around even though we <laughs> We, we are still giving away more stuff. More stuff will be coming. All right. Thanks. Uh, and I guess that does it for this five-year anniversary of transmissions. Yeah, it, it's, been, it's been fun. It's been long. Mm -hmm. <laughs> doesn't seem like five years. It doesn't. It doesn't. We, we've had uh, multiple, like, I think everyone but Charles has moved at least once in the five years. <laughs> you know, a couple of us have had kids. It's kind of crazy. Yep, this is this has been an awesome journey, and I'm I'm looking to you in. All right, everyone, we'll see you next time. Bye bye. Bye. Later. Thanks for listening to Transmissions. Remember, you can help support the show by donating to us directly via Patreon or PayPal. Once you become a donor, you will receive access to donor only goodies like donor only contests listening to us record transmissions live and getting transmission swag at 20% off. You can find links for this at transmissionspodcast.com slash support. Subscribing to us on Stitcher, iTunes, and Google Play is also a great way to support us here at Transmissions. Every subscription we get helps us get better noticed on those services. Leaving us a comment and five-star review doesn't hurt either. Be sure to come chat with us on Discord. You will find a link for Discord at transmissionspodcast.com slash Discord. And of course, you can always send us an email at feedback at transmissionspodcast.com. Thank you all for listening, and we'll see you again next week. Hi, Karuba. Whoa, Whoa. what the fuck? <laughs> That's me. <laughs> <laughs> that's new that, that was surprising <laughs> Craig has done some updates <laughs> <laughs>
On August 17th, 1997, Craig became self-aware and launched his missiles against Russia. Uh, I'm, I'm just afraid it will happen when we shut them off. <laughs> I, for one, welcome our Discord bot overlords. <laughs> I don't think the regular show is three-year-old appropriate, Quattro. It could be, I guess. <laughs> Yoshi earns us the explicit tag. All right, let's start the show. That was uh, hope that was good outtakes for you, Mike. <laughs> Do we have a hanging Chad? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, oh, it's a different person. <laughs> oh no, we're gonna have to. We'll, we'll cut that out. But <laughs> the actual winner, <laughs> Daryl, right. start us off. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Mike usually cuts me out anyway, so just go ahead, Daryl. Let me bring up the sheet here. The Universal Studios EVAC and nope, graded... Nope. Nope. What? One yes. before that. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we know how that went. Yes, this is the right spreadsheet. I only made that mistake once. <laughs> Computer, give me a number... No, sorry, I'm going to start over. As a noun, yeah. number is usually defined as the property possessed by a sum or total or indefinite quantity of units or individuals or, alternatively, stop. 